This is a story about three orphans named Violet, Klaus, and Sonny Baudler, who, having escaped Count Olaf from stealing their family fortune, attend Prefrock Preparatory School, a boarding school with strict rules. The Baudler children meet Vice Principal Nero, a self-proclaimed genius who is terrible at playing the violin. He outlines the strict rules at Prefrock Prep and forces the Baudler children to live in a tin shack with small crabs, fungus, and green walls with pink hearts. The Baudler children meet Carmelita, a mean girl who teases them, and Duncan and Isadora Quagmire, triplets who lost their parents and other sibling in a fire. The Baudler children struggle to adjust to school life, as Violet is taught by Mr. Remora, who tells boring stories, Klaus is taught by Mrs. Bass, who measures everything by the metric system, and Sonny has to work in Vice Principal Nero's office as his secretary. A new gym teacher, Mr. Genghis, arrives, and the Baudler children immediately recognize him as Count Olaf. However, they pretend that they don't recognize Count Olaf and play along with the disguise. Mr. Genghis orders the Baudler children to meet him after dinner on the lawn, and he makes them run laps all night. The Baudler children are exhausted, but are forced to run laps for 9 consecutive nights, which negatively affects their grades and work performance. Vice Principal Nero tells the Baudler children that if they can't pass an upcoming comprehensive exam, they will be kicked out of Proofrock Prep and Mr. Genghis will homeschool them. Because Duncan and Isadora want to help the Baudler children, they volunteer to disguise themselves as the Baudler children to run laps all night, while Violet helps Sunny make staples and Klaus studies for the exams. The following morning, Violet and Klaus answer all the questions to the exam correctly and Sonny staples packets of paper. Mr. Genghis appears, but Duncan and Isadora are missing. As the Baudler children are being expelled by Vice Principal Nero, Mr. Poe appears and checks in on how everything is going. Mr. Genghis flees and the Baudler children chase after him. Mr. Poe realizes that Mr. Genghis is Count Olaf, but it is too late as Count Olaf has kidnapped Duncan and Isadora. In the end, Count Olaf escapes, having Duncan and Isadora in his possession, and the Baudler children are left with a clue from Duncan about the VFD and Count Olaf. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports, and thanks for watching.